very good morning all friends we are we were discussing on the chapter 16th that is light in this in this chapter we have discussed about some basics okay some important terms like incident ray reflected ray after this one normal angle of incidence and angle of reflections okay let's go with a quick revision first of all the light ray which strikes any surface is called incident ray okay any on any surface if a light ray is being strikes then it will known as incident ray after this one obviously that after striking the ray will come back okay then the ray that comes back from the surface after reflection is known as the reflection reflected ray next one is we have discussed about normal so the line okay the line at 90 angle we can say okay or at right angle representing the mirror at the point where the incident ray strikes the mirror okay simply observe the words okay observe the words that at the point where the incident ray strikes the mirror this line is known as the normal to the reflecting surface at that point next one is two angle we have discussed that is the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection so the angle between the normal and incident ray is called the angle of incident as it is the angle between the normal and the reflected ray is known as the angle of reflection after this we have discussed some two basic laws and activity 16.1 and 16.2 in this session we are going to discuss about activity 16.3 and 4 so first of all activity 16.3 a source of light o is is placed in front of a plane mirror pq okay you must be given a figure that is yes this is figure 16.5 let's say okay so here the o is source of the light okay so source of the source of light o is placed in front of a plane mirror pq two rays oa and oc are incident on it can you find out the direction of the reflected rays draw normals to the surface of the mirror pq at the points a and c okay quite obviously at the point of the incident only okay then draw the reflected rays at the points a and c how would you draw this rays call the reflected rays ab and cd okay respectively so simply for oa and oc respectively yes. extend it them extend them further do they meet extend them backwards do they meet now if they meet mark this point as i for a viewers i at e do the reflected rays appear to come from the point i since the reflected rays do not actually meet at i but only appear to do so we say that a virtual image of the point o is formed at i as you have learnt already in class 7 such an image cannot be obtained on a screen so what this activity about so in this last session we were discussing about these three topics okay these three points these four points okay so this is something related to this one only okay this activity is something related to this one only so here at the point of e you are given the given a uh, let's say i okay it simply means let's say you okay you are watching a mirror okay you are observing a mirror and here at the point of at the point o it is the source of the light okay so if let's say there are two rays okay in say incident on the uh, on the mirror okay plane mirror pq as shown in this figure 16.5 only okay 
so this oa and oc are two incident ray ab and cd are reflected ray respect uh, respectively okay it simply means oa and oc for oa it's ab reflected ray is ab and for oc reflected ray is cd okay so if we extend both of this ab and cd ray on opposite side we can say okay because it's quite obvious that in the direction ab or cd they are not going to meet okay they ain't gonna meet anywhere else okay so if we if we extend it at opposite side of the ab and opposite side of the cd it simply means in the direction ba and in the direction dc then it must be meet somewhere at a point and let's say it is i okay so simply we can say that there must be the i must be image of the point o okay so it is imaginary quite obviously okay it is not a, uh, a real image we can say okay it's not real okay it's only only imaginary so so here you are given the same okay such an image cannot be obtained on a screen so that's the activity 16.3 okay now let's study further you may recall that in an image formed by a mirror the left of the object appears on the right and the right appears on the left this is known as lateral inversion okay to understand this lateral inversion okay I just go to a, 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 a quite big quite big mirror okay let's say it's not only about a small mirror okay just go to a quite big mirror, mirror of your home okay or uh, just go to bedroom there mu must be a big mirror okay so if you will hold something with your left hand then the image okay your image in the mirror will hold that thing with the right hand okay so this is the lateral inversion only okay you can understand this term lateral inversion with the help of this experiment okay so this was about activity 16.3 only yes so okay that's it for today to understand this activity 16.4 we just have to cover all topic okay so this next topic 16.3 regular and diffuse reflection okay will be covered in the next session okay and we will discuss this activity 16.4 also okay that's it for today Thank you very much and have a nice day to all of you.